Hey guys, this is Matt from Apple Corbin. So let's talk about your welding diffusers today. Um, really one of the more interesting consumable items that you'll have on your MIG gun, and that's because based on the kind of gun that you're using, parameters that you're welding at, you could really go a lot of different ways with your diffuser. So we're gonna go over all the material types, um, the performance metrics of each, and which one's gonna be right for you based on your budget or on your parameters. So when you're looking at evaluation criteria for your diffuser, you're looking at four different metrics in particular. You're looking at conductivity, resistance, yield strength, and hardness value. And then when you're looking at the different metals at your disposal, you're going to be evaluating brass, copper alloy, or copper. So starting with copper, Copper, just like with the contact tip, a lot of the same properties, um, it's going to be very conductive, it's going to be soft, so a low hardness value. It has a low level of resistance as a result of it being soft. Really, it's much more suited for very low parameter, short arc style applications. Looking at copper alloy, you're going to get that copper mixed with a harder metal. So it's gonna have a little less on the conductivity side. It's gonna have more resistance, however, more hardness. So it'll be more suitable for higher amperage applications. It will be a little bit more on the pricier side um, because of the alloyed um, process to make it, but it's really an all around great solution for almost any application setup. So with brass, you're going to get really an all rounder. So it has a medium level of hardness, a high amount of resistance, a low amount of conductivity. It's good for reaming applications and things of that nature. Um, and it's, it's very budget friendly for, for manufacturers out there. So you would think based on all the criteria that I just gave to you, well, obviously brass is the choice for me. It's, uh, it's cheaper, it's more durable, it will be more durable in the event of a robot crash or my welder hammering on it, and that's definitely true, but there are other considerations to make when looking at a brass diffuser versus a copper alloy. With a brass diffuser, one thing to consider is it acts as a heat block towards your front end consumable, namely your contact tip. So when you're welding, you're actually concentrating more heat to your contact tip and that causes it to wear faster as a result. When you're really evaluating the MIG gun in general, uh, make sure that the nozzle that you're gonna be using has a thermoplastic insulation because that keeps spatter from bridging between the diffuser and the nozzle. And that thermoplastic insulation looks like this little black strip of plastic right here that's built and machined into the nozzle. With copper alloy, um, obviously it's not as budget friendly as brass, so what are you getting for that higher cost? Um, well, what you're gonna get is a higher level of heat conductivity, which is going to transfer to your contact tip. So what that means is that your tip is going to stay cooler while in operation. That's going to, in theory, extend the life of the contact tip. So you'll spend less overall on a more constant wear part um, as opposed to um, wearing out your tip more often with the brass one. So that's, that's the upshot from going with a copper alloy over a brass. Another important consideration to make when um, looking at your diffuser choice is you wanna make sure that you're using a different alloyed metal than what you're using for your contact tip. And the reason why you don't want your tip material and your diffuser material to be the exact same is because what, you, what can happen, especially for air-cooled applications, is they can seize together as they cool down. That means they'll get basically stuck together and you'll ruin both consumables as a result. So we talked about these um, diffuser tip holder combos and these contact tip holders, brass and the copper alloy, um, but we need to talk about insulators as well. For these contact tip holder ones, just these plain ones, you need to use an insulator to give that insulation between um, the inner tube and the tip holder itself. So um, there's two different materials you can choose from. Um, there's a white thermoplastic and a black thermoplastic. Some of them have diffusion ports in them, some of them do not. It's gonna depend on the welding gun setup, but in terms of application, you would use the white one for air-cooled applications up to 300 amp, and then anything beyond 300 amp on that air-cooled application, you would wanna jump up to that high temperature black insulator. For water cool, because the coolant runs through the torch and keeps your consumables cooler, you can actually use the white insulator for up to 500 amp and anything beyond that, you'd wanna jump up and use that high temperature black insulator instead. So in summary, really we have two choices. Um, you're gonna have the brass and you're gonna have the copper alloy. Um, and the choice is gonna depend on your needs, your parameters, your budget. Um, with brass, you're gonna get a more durable, more cost effective, uh, maybe not quite as much performance on your front end. So it's going to make your contact tips hotter. You'll, they probably will not have as much life as a result. With the copper alloy, you're gonna get, again, in summary, a better heat conductivity to your contact tip so your tip will run at a lower temperature which means it will last longer. Um, copper alloy has better wire abrasion characteristics, 
but not quite as durable, not quite as crash resistant, not quite as reamer friendly. Um, but also bear in mind, you'll get reduced voltage drops with your welding gun while you have it in operation. If you have any more questions about diffusers or contact tips or tip holders or insulators or any Binzel products in general, go to our website, binzel.shopacore.com, contact us or reach out to your area sales rep. This is Matt from Abacore Binzel. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.